Hello again folks, Jose Rodriguez back again. I just ran into another subject on one of the forums concerning the misunderstanding between the difference between file size of a digital image and actual printing resolution. There is a misconception that the two are actually correlated. In other words, a person was actually saying that they had some digital images that were scanned as a product of scanning some old family pictures and they were only 200 and whatever KB in size, would they be able to print large prints? Well, what does that mean? That means nothing. That just means weight. And often what will happen when people save to JPEG is that they can actually assign a level of compression. So regardless of the original resolution, you could actually end up with a 20 megabyte file or even a 1 megabyte file, depending on the level of compression you apply. Of course, the more compression, the more you're likely to have what they call pixelation or, or pixel blocking or that sort of thing. And that's a whole different subject and a, a technological conversation I really don't want to get into right now. But the thing you need to be concerned about is don't worry about the file size. Worry about your total resolution, your vertical times horizontal resolution. That's where you can determine how large your image can be. Now, when you're scanning family photos, Say, for instance, you want to scan something that's 3 by 5 and you want to be able to print it and have enough pixel resolution. So you may want to scan that, set your scanner resolution setting to 300. And that way you will have a 3 by 5 will be 300 by 3 or 900 by 300 by 5, which is 1500. So 900 by 1500. That'll give you enough resolution for you to be able to print a one-to-one -one print of that particular original photo. If you want to print larger, say double the size, then you need to double your resolution when you scan it. That way you end up with 1800 by 3000. And you might be able to print that photograph then to like 6 by 10, for instance. So it's all about pixels per inch when you print. But that has nothing to do actually with anything as I said in my other video pixels per inch is only apply when you are printing so you want to have sufficient number of pixels per linear inch of print size you can assign a lower number of pixels and sure it will allow you to print it larger the detail may or may not be there it depends on your eyes it depends on the viewing distance and all of that so again just to make it very simple and basic do not rely on file size as a indication of pixel resolution so remember pixel resolution file size not related it's related to how you compress that image now if you shoot raw then that doesn't apply anymore raw is a constant file size it depends on the number of pixels that your camera uh, sensor can produce so the file size will be dependent on that think of a pixel weighing one gram in raw condition and then think of a pixel weighing one milligram in a compressed condition. It's still a pixel. It's just been stripped of its weight, more or less, by compression. Too much compression, and you will begin to alter the quality of the actual image. So there's a, there's a leeway there. You can compress a bit. But remember, when you compress, you're throwing away information. So... You want to keep, I always, uh, never use JPEG anyway, I always use my RAW file and use uh, editing applications that allow me to print directly from that file without having to um, convert to some other format and possibly lose some quality due to compression or any other type of uh, uh, problem when you convert, conversion problem. But anyway, so that's it. Don't worry about it just look at your pixel resolution make sure that there's no artifacting due to compression and if that doesn't apply then you're fine if you have enough resolution to print to a given size you're good to go so in the case of the 900 by 1500 that would be a 3 by 5 okay you cannot print a 30 by 50 no you just can't okay you need sufficient resolution per inch to be able to get away with that so that's it. Don't let that worry you too much. And I'm going to go back and, and answer that person and try to explain that to him. It's a, it's a weird little concept to understand 
because a lot of people misuse the terminology. And they say you need a, a five megabyte file at least. What does that mean, five megabytes? That doesn't tell me anything about resolution. That would be like saying a, uh, a Cadillac that only weighs 10 pounds as opposed to a Cadillac that weighs 5,000 pounds. It still looks like a Cadillac. <laughs> you know, one is heavy and one is not. Okay, so that's maybe not a good analogy, but that's basically it. File size it does not necessarily mean more resolution and vice versa. Okay, it's been a really bad day today. Just yucky rain and gray skies. We've had probably, I would guess, in the last 16, 17 days, we've had about three days of sunshine. So it's, it's going to be great for the plants eventually when the heat does arrive. But as of now, you just stay in the house. And the family's not feeling that well anyway, so it's, it might as well stay indoors and watch TV. Okie doke. So until the next time, please subscribe, please share, please like. Happy printing. Bye bye.